What's up everybody? We're back in Cebu City, which means we're going to finish our best Lechon in Cebu City tour. The famous city where all the mouth-watering Lechon in the Philippines comes from. Yeah, we're about to hit up a few new spots and give you our take on them. So, stay tuned. Next stop on our search in Cebu City to find the best Lechon. We're at Zubuchon, which is deemed as one of the best. Actually the best Lechon in the world by Anthony Bourdain and we're right outside, outside of the pig pit. This is the suckling pig roasting over here. It's gonna spin for a really long time. We got the pork belly right there, Lechon belly, two types. But yeah guys, smells really delicious, can't wait to try it out. Wow, the air is just being filled with the aroma of herbs and spices that are coming from these roasted pigs. It seems to be the Lechon Central guys. We got Zubuchon right here, Rico's right there, and another Lechon place right there. And we're, we're about to try them all out. Super crunchy, really juicy. I almost tastes like chicken. So some finishing thoughts on this turkey, I mean pork, uh, it's really good actually. I like that the skin is really crispy and salty. Unlike Rico's, Rico's wasn't as crispy. But yeah, this pork is really interesting because it's really meaty. It feels like, uh, seems like it's really a juicy but meaty turkey. It's uh, really weird, it doesn't taste like pork, honestly. But yeah, it's a really unique taste. But I think I'm still going to have to give, tip my hat off to the local Lechon place that was in that barong in Southern Cebu. But still, it's really good, very close second, and I think it's better than Rico's, and it's really tasty. I can see why Anthony Bourdain thinks it's the best Lechon in the world. But yes. Cheers. Can't have a meal in the Philippines without a fresh, cold glass of San Miguel. So on the next stop in our journey to find the best lechon in Cebu, we're at the original lechon belly, which is right here. I got the lechon belly. This place is supposed to be the best original lechon belly in Cebu. That's why it's called Cebu's original lechon belly. Um, the lechon belly is actually different because it is not the whole pig that's roasted. They cut up a piece of the pig, it's all meat, they take all the bones out and they stuff the pig instead of roasting the whole pig. And it's supposed to be juicier, tendier, 
and a little bit more fatty. But yeah, really try this. Excited to try this. Got my gloves on. You gotta eat with your hands. We got the puso sticky rice. So yeah, everything's eaten by hand, guys. Just took it out of the wrapper, like what Leia's doing for me. And yes, we're about to eat. Try right, my first piece. Look at this. It shows, right? <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Salty. Crunchy. Skin is really crunchy. But I like how salty it is compared to all the other ones. All, out of all the other places, this one's the saltiest. Pretty good. And that's why we gotta cure it with this sticky puso rice. Yes. I have to say, the lechon belly might be one of my favorites so far. It's extra fatty, salty. Look at this. I don't know, Phil. Look at the fat content on this. Let me get a great piece. Let me get a good piece. Oh, this one right here. This one. Yeah, look at the extra fat content on this. It's really good. Pair it with the skin. Let me know if you guys can hear that crunch. Really delicious. Look at the oil on this thing. It's dripping. I can't get enough of this right now, but yeah, it's really good. But I don't think that I could be eating this all the time because it's uh, really salty and fatty, but it's definitely Really fire. Mm. Fat is oozing down my lips. Also, this is the fo the quarter um, kilo. It's the smallest size. They come in really big portions, so make sure you come with the appetite to eat this. Um, this is enough to serve both of us. But yeah, we made the mistake of getting the half kilo last time, and it was way too much at Rico's. I'm usually a soy sauce lover, but I think I'm gonna have to throw it out because this meat is already really salty and good and it's perfectly marinated. But yeah guys, in conclusion, this alone, you hear a crunchiness? It is just reason enough to separate this place. Even though they serve different lechon styles, this is lechon belly, the one is lechon. Um, it's enough for me to choose this place because I love the crunchy saltiness of the skin. And Rico's just their skin just wasn't as crunchy. Yeah. But I will give Rico's this, although the skin is really crunchy, salty, and good. Um, the meat portion is not as juicy. The one at Rico's is very, very juicy. But to each their own, and to wrap it up, we'll still see how this compares to the other lechon places in Cebu. The city with the best lechon in the world. This place is in the park mall right here. There's a lot of um, restaurants and stalls to eat at here. But yeah, the whole meal cost us about how much? I don't know. About 195 pesos. Um, convert that yourself because I don't know off the top of my head right now. <laughs> Can't eat all that lechon without finishing it off with the dubuchon dessert platter. Some flan. Mm. Mm. Nice and flaky, really sweet. This is fire. Mm. Never tried this before. This is some um, sweet sticky rice with brown sugar. I don't know if that works. Mm. Hot. Unique taste. It's actually not as sweet as I thought it would be. Even though it's covered in brown sugar. Very really good though. And mango. Cebu and mangoes are always the best. Some rice and grass. Grass leaf paper. See how it tastes. I've had this before, but not in the form of dessert. Mm. Good. Slightly sweet. 
very chewy. This whole plate is really good. They can make an ube snack out of everything, anything. This is an ube cheesecake. Let's see. Mm. Mm. So that is it for today's food and lechon tour of Cebu City. I hope you liked the video. This is our video for Rico's lechon. So watch that previous video for our thoughts on Rico's. Overall, to answer the final question of which place had the best lechon, I don't think I'd give a definite answer, but if I had to, in my opinion, it'd probably be Zubuchon just because that's the best of both worlds. It's conveniently located, there's a lot of them, it's commercial, and it just had some pretty solid lechon. But overall, all the lechon here was delicious, and I can't wait to go back and eat more. So stay tuned for more food vlogs.